Let's jump right into our top story. Red alert. Draconian CISPA bill picking up sponsors ahead of vote next week. It's got over 100 co-sponsors in the House of Representatives. And all the major Internet watchdog groups are on record saying this is some of the most draconian anti-Internet legislation they have ever seen. Meanwhile, speaking of Internet, rights group demands investigation into Google wiretapping and Street View. Now, the government, I told you, if you're going to start this investigation, is just doing it to look like on the surface they care about Google trampling on people's rights. Google itself is a division of the CIA funded by NQTEL and using NSA technology. And Street View is only the tip of the iceberg. Uh, they are involved with the onboard cameras and microphones on your computers with AI systems recording everything going on in your home. And how do we know this? Because they admit they have the software and are doing it. But they say it's okay at computers listening to you. All of this beyond 1984. Speaking of cars and wiretapping, in 1997 under federal regulations, not law, all of the new cars have boxes that track where you go, what you do, how fast you were driving. Um, that was all the U.S. made cars. By 2001, it was all foreign cars. Now they want it to where it has audio, live time feed, and you pay for it. You pay for the NSA Trojan horse system when you buy the car, all of that is piggybacked into it, just like the cell phones and the toasters and the microwave ovens that General Petraeus says is uh, watching you. But if you don't like it, you're still a conspiracy theorist. Those of us that didn't trust the corrupt uh, technocracy were always the bad conspiracy theorists for questioning known liars. Now it's all admitted, but we're, we're still bad.